Hey guys, what's going on? Hopefully you're doing well. You know, when I was younger, I always liked to go and watch the Kung Fu movies, The Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragons, The uh, Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. Uh, those films were always great to watch. I loved the Bruce Lee films as well, and any sort of action film that was on television. Uh, one of my favorite ones is Bloodsport as well. Um, one day I ended up thinking to myself, you know what, I should go out and try to learn Kung Fu, and I did, actually. I ended up going to a local Kung Fu gym, uh, which was in a karate dojo in Mississauga. It was called Kantai Kung Fu, and they taught the Hungar system, uh, which is a southern fist style, uh, which taught the five animal forms, um, and mostly known as uh, traditional Kung Fu. The f those animal forms were crane, dragon, snake, panther, and tiger, of course. <laughs> How much more fun can you get to learn those types of forms, go out and, you know, <laughs> learn those forms, and it was just so much fun. I never pushed myself so hard to, to learn something. It's more like a choreographed uh, dance, and I love dance myself. Uh, when I moved out to Calgary, I ended up joining a Wing Chun uh, Kung Fu club as well here in Calgary, and it was a great time when I was there. I don't practice now, but Wing Chun was uh, quite uh, an experience, being able to defend and attack at the same time. It was the Kung Fu and the art that Bruce Lee ended up doing. Uh, it was one of those um, things that led him to move on and create his own martial art, which is Jeet Kune Do, which is a combination of uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu, boxing, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and probably a host of other stuff. Ah, fencing was part of that too. So, you know, Bruce Lee is uh, one of my heroes as well. Um, you know, I got off my couch. I was able to learn a few things. Hopefully I can go back out and start uh, training again in Kung Fu. You know, one of the best things that they teach in Kung Fu is uh, self-respect and also self-control. Uh, just because you're able to go out and kick someone in the face doesn't mean you can uh, go out and pick a fight with anybody. The best way to fight is to not fight at all and avoid the conflict. No, to, no one to turn your back and walk away. And the last thing you want to do is trouble your friends and family with you being hurt in the hospital. But yes, you guys have a good day. Go out and try some martial arts. There's a lot of martial arts out there. I chose Kung Fu. What will you choose? Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and hopefully you guys have a good one. Cheers.